I'm hoping for a chill day today. Absolutely exhausted from a full day filming yesterday. I have woken up at the very last moment of checkout and cancelled my hotel that I had booked for tonight. Because now that I'm here in Amsterdam, I realised it's actually really far out from the kind of centre of town where things were happening. Uh, which is amazing that I was able to book to cancel it on the actual day that I was supposed to be saying. Anyway, so I've just booked um, somewhere a little closer that actually ended up being a little bit cheaper, so pretty delighted with that. Um, it's raining, and so I'm reluctant to leave the hotel. You can't see, but it's chucking it down. And I'm really tempted to go, to go past. There's this, like, burger place where you can, you can, like, just tap your card, open a little window and take a burger out. Oh, I'm glad they don't have those in the UK because I'd just be in there all the time. I just, I can't resist. So delicious. It's really nice. I think it was like four quid or something for a burger. Might pop in there before I get on the train. Oh, I guess I better get up. Oh, okay, let's go. Thank you, bye. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Oh well, there's the station. It's super close to where my hotel is. My hotel is actually very pretty. Let me show you. Look at that. What a building. It's time for me to say goodbye to Zandam. And rather than get a £4 dirty burger, I'm going to go into town and have a sit down in a nice restaurant and get some proper food. Whilst I was stuffing my face with that dirty burger, I witnessed this really lovely moment between this duck and her ducklings. She was very suspicious of me. Do you ever feel like this flower? It has thrived in what looks like pretty tough conditions and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere. And then when the train passes, it's still there, hanging on. <laughs> You know, Bristol has a pretty stunning main train station, but this one, something else. Since I was in that mystical land in between checking out of one hotel and checking into another, I decided to go to a local cafe and sit and work for a few hours. If I've enjoyed my food, I quite often tag the restaurant or the cafe. And I normally use this opportunity to thank one of my supporters on Buy Me A Coffee, because having a coffee whilst I work keeps me sane. And I always want to show my appreciation to them. Well, this is a load of nope. I don't know why, but I'm so suspicious of single person lifts. It just doesn't feel right. I think it's because single person lifts often come in older buildings and are therefore quite slow and rickety and they make scary noises that makes you think that it's definitely going to fail. And also, my brain is kind enough to warn me about all the things I'm worried about when I sleep through dreaming and dream symbology. And by that I mean, if I'm ever worried about failing something, perhaps I have a big exam coming up, I'll dream about getting in a lift that plummets to the ground. In reality, I'm not all that scared of lifts, but there's only so many times you can have the same slightly terrifying dream before you start to take this stuff seriously. Thanks brain. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know that I was worried about that exam by giving me some uh, terrifying things to look at whilst I sleep. Thanks for keeping me company in the lift. I think I might just walk up the three flights of stairs later. After I dropped off my bags into the hotel, I uh, popped into various different shops around the city and I fell in love with this leather backpack store. 
which had its own DIY station. So you can add your own wording, your own personalised features onto the rucksack that you buy. I thought it was just a really lovely way of making something your own. There's also areas in which they are able to make repairs on bags, meaning whatever you buy has a chance to last you longer. I've been hunting for a long while for a larger backpack that was in a lighter tan. I have a black leather backpack that's much smaller. This also has a section for a laptop inside and I was super delighted with it, especially as it was a fraction of the price than any of the other bags that I have seen anywhere in the UK. So highly recommend this shop if you're in Amsterdam. When I got back to the hotel, I decided to make a little bit of content. These were just a couple of funny ideas that I came up with when I got into my hotel room. And when creativity comes to you, it just has to come out. These both have music that's relevant to the video, but I can't repost it here because I don't own the music. <laughs> After a pretty massive dinner, I decided that I had a bit of a sweet tooth. I'd passed this sweet shop on the way to my hotel earlier in the day, and I wanted to treat my inner child to a whole bag of different ridiculously sized and shaped sweets. To be honest, I'm not even really a sweet person, but pick a mix was not something that I could afford when I was a child. So as an adult, as and when the circumstance comes around, I do enjoy treating myself to a bag of pick -a mix If you don't relate to this at all, this will probably sound a little bit weird, but it makes me feel really accomplished. It makes me feel like, look, I've made it. I can buy pick -a mix Do you have anything like that? Something you really revel in being able to buy as an adult? Oh, those watermelon ones, they were so good. I'm saying they were so good because right now it's like midnight and all these sweets are gone. I've eaten them all. And I selected many, many more than you have seen on this video. I think those ones had almonds inside. These ones had to be my favourite. They were little mini octopuses. Or is it octopi? Well, either way, they were pretty darn delicious. It tastes like banana. <laughs> Couldn't be more happy. And again, I use this opportunity to create a video for my social medias. And quite often with my more spontaneous content, I just create something based on how I'm feeling in the moment, which is definitely true for this video. I thought this rubber duck shop was super cool. It's not my kind of thing, but I wanted to pop in and take a closer look, see if there might be some sort of gift that I could get somebody. And then I noticed this lovely lady. Look how smart she is. Also covered in dust, which I think is very apt. They're super fun and I'm sure very collectible, but a bit too rich for my pocket. Do love the slogan though. That was until I noticed that there was a mini version of the exact same duck and it was half the price and it tickled me. Uh, you're coming home with me. I had a lovely chat with the cashier about who in his family does the DIY. So there is my fun day out in Amsterdam. Like and subscribe if you don't want to miss the next episode.